the unboxing of the Blue Nova 52 volt, 40 kilowatt hour lithium ferrophosphate battery. Play drums again. Um, I'm going to take it out, sort of a customer experience, um, to see what this baby looks like. We've connected the, the batteries to the bus bar, so this little bus bar adapter. This specific battery has been configured to deliver 20 kVA continuously, or 20 kilowatts. That means it's rated for 400 amps, so we'll take it up to 400 amps just now. Uh, we've got a current clamp to monitor the DC voltage, and I'll take you through a couple of the displays on the inverter to show the charge and discharge currents. So, in order to connect the battery to the inverter, we all know that there are big input DC bus capacitors. Those capacitors will have to be pre-charged. The inverter comes with a pre-charged built-in pre-charged circuit, but we will not use that because our battery also comes with a built-in pre-charged circuit. So when you switch the battery on, the capacitors will be charged up and you will hear some audio feedback from our battery to tell you when those capacitors are fully charged and then we'll close the contact. So with that, I'll just switch it on. It's charging up. Closed. Okay, so that's 52 volts applied to the inverter and then the inverter then fires up. So let's have a closer look at that. Okay, so uh, in order to test the system, we obviously need a 24 kilowatt load or even bigger than that. And the way that we basically designed that is by using straightforward oven plates. They are 1.5 kilowatts each. There's uh, 18 of them uh, in this uh, drum set array, as you can see there. Okay, so there we've got uh, 8 kVA, 9 kVA, 7 kVA per line. We have 358 amps coming out of the battery. And that's confirmed. Yeah. You can go to the site and literally just connect these two wires to your inverter charger and your CAN cable to your uh, serial communication interface. The idea is to spend a few minutes on site. So inside here, on the output of the battery, we have a pre-charge circuit that will charge those bus capacitors. Once those bus capacitors are reached a certain voltage, we then close a high power contact contacts an impulse relay that's inside here, capable of switching 3,000 amps for thousands of times, and that then establishes the DC connection. If any fault occurs, whether it's an overcurrent, short circuit, over temperature, or cell imbalance, any of that nature, that will be communicated via the serial interface to the charger and the inverter, and if they don't take the appropriate action, then the battery will protect itself by opening up that contact. So let's talk a little bit about the advantages of the lithium ferrophosphate or uh, modern lithium technology batteries. I think the first one that really impresses me is the charge efficiency. These batteries use 30 to 35 percent less energy to charge than an equivalent lead acid battery. That is significant in any book. Um, it means 30 percent less solar panels. It means 30% less fuel, much more in actual fact than you charge with a generator. Um, so that charge efficiency is really, really impressive. From a size point of view, this battery will be about a quarter of the size of a lead acid bank. This lead acid bank will be roughly 2,500 amp hours um, to, to have an equivalent capacity than this battery. The weight of this battery, as I mentioned, is uh, in the region of about 480 kilograms. A lead acid battery bank of this size would be in the region of about three tons. So it's really lightweight compared to a lead acid battery. Um, power, as I mentioned before, this battery can deliver 100 kilowatts worth of power. Uh, with a smile, it will not, the efficiencies will be way above 95%. Um, and you can also charge this battery with 1,000 amps, uh, if you like. Um, and the turnaround efficiency is still very, very high. Um, I think, finally, the battery has got absolutely no gas, it's got no harmful substances, no acid, nothing of that nature. Uh, these batteries have, in the 20 years that they've been around, 
never had a thermal event, they're ultra safe. They might be considered lithium ion batteries because they're part of the family, but uh, the ferrophosphate uh, subcategory chemistry of the lithium batteries makes them ultimately the safest lithium batteries in the world. They are safer than lead acid batteries. Now, we've been very impressed with these batteries. Um, they, they really perform well. They have fantastic performance in high environmental temperatures. They don't seem to age, even if the environment is up at 35, 40 degrees. The aging is, is, is not significant. Uh, overall, I think that this is going to be the storage chemistry medium for the next decade.